Hello, my name is Gail Morton, and I'm going to show you how to find resources for psychology. Start out by going to libraries.mercer.edu. Once I'm here, I scroll down and I go to Research Guides and Tutorials. I'm going to click here. I'm going to scroll down so I see psychology. Here it is. Click one more time on psychology. Here it is. And here's a bunch of databases that would be good to search for if you're doing psychology related researching. I'm going to show you an example. We'll do psychology ProQuest. ProQuest is a company that provides databases. This one called psychology is just one of them. So I'm going to put some terms in here. I'm do on um, Health resources and college students. Okay. I've got a lot of results here, so I'm going to focus on limiting these results. There's a few ways to do that. Okay. okay so we can limit to full text and peer reviewed. So I'm going to do that because there's a lot that we can select from. Okay. Peer reviewed journals is something that you're going to need for um, for your research. A lot of professors require this. And peer reviewed, these are scholarly peer reviewed journals. I'm going to click on peer reviewed. And you can see that just clicking on full text and peer reviewed, we already brought it down considerably. We can change the publication date to limit, so I can enter in, you know, a date range, or I could just do this slide bar, come all the way up, but then I want to click update, and it knocked it down some more. Now we can also do, um, we can limit it more, documentation type, and it tells you, here you go, evidence-based healthcare, let's try that. Okay, and now we have a number of 159 results, so we just limited using all of the choices that you have to the very far left hand of the screen. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to look at this one. Open access means it's available for all. Here we have PDF full text. Okay. This is the PDF of the article. Here's how you download the PDF. You can download it and save it to your desktop. You can cite it. You can email it to yourself. You can print it. I'm going to focus on this um, site icon. And this one defaults to APA. If I click this down arrow, you can see all the other kinds of citations that you can select from. But since psychology you can probably mostly be doing everything in psychology. So we're going to do the APA 6th. And here it is. Okay, and all you have to do is copy and paste this into your paper. Um, sometimes it's not like the editing might be a little off, so make sure you double check. If you need someone to help you double check, I am here. You can email me. Um, and if you want, you can turn your papers in or you turn them into your professor, you can turn them in 
to a librarian and we can double check your citations. Okay. Because I'm going to click done. And go back one. And if I want to clear all my filters and go back to the very beginning, I'll clear them right here. And we're back to a very large number. Also on this side, you'll notice books that match your shirt. You match your search. So it's just another way to limit your researching. And that is how you find psychology journals using psychology database from ProQuest.